Get in, smash the gunners off the park. What are you saying? Yes, what a game, what a result. Liverpool outstanding. Stay tuned and we will talk more. Right guys, welcome to On The Bench LFC. Absolutely buzzing, what a fucking game. What an amazing result. And I've got one more thing to say. 4-0, 4-0, 4-0, 4-0. Yeah, I promise Arsenal, if any of you fans are watching, I won't bring it up again. <laughs> yeah, absolutely amazing guys. Loads to talk about from this game. I'm over the moon. You guys are buzzing, the same as me, I can imagine. Wasn't expecting that. Obviously my prediction for this game was 2-1. But I was hoping that Liverpool would be solid defensively and that was the best that I've seen us defend in a long time. Obviously we kept a clean sheet, but we're going to talk about that dickhead of a goalkeeper later on in the video. Anyway, I think we should get started by saying that uh, Lionel Wijnaldum, where did that come from? That was Jeannie Wijnaldum's best game in a Liverpool shirt so far. He didn't score, but he didn't have to. The gigs that was taking on players for fun. Where the hell did that come from? I don't know, but I want to see more of that from you, young man. That was absolutely brilliant. What do you guys think of Wijnaldum today? Fantastic, but then to be honest with you, every single player was fantastic. Bar the goalkeeper, but like I said, we will get into that in a bit. Henderson, another fantastic game. He's leaning from the front foot. And something that I've noticed that I want to touch on quickly while we're talking about Henderson is... There's obviously a new tactic there where Henderson presses the defensive midfielder from the other teams. He did it against Hoffenheim and he did it fantastically. And he's done it again against Arsenal today. And yeah, fucking yes. That's all I've got to say. Henderson, absolutely pucker, mate. Keep it up. If you carry on playing like that, then you're going to guide Liverpool in the right direction constantly. Emre Chan again. Woo the lad is becoming an absolute genius. And like I said in my video before, Liverpool need to really sort out and get that contract extension signed. If, he, if they're qualming over a couple of thousand, give him that couple of thousand. He's really coming to fruitation this season. So I think we're going to see the best year out of him yet. Already I'm seeing a massive improvement on Chan and it started towards the end of last season. And he's, only just, he's, and he's carried that on throughout this season so far. Absolutely brilliant. So the midfield three, oh, you can't even go there. Are we seeing Liverpool starting eleven? bar I would swap Mignolet in for Carriers, and I don't know what that was all about. But that could be Liverpool starting eleven at the moment, guys. Obviously, we learn on being out injured and stuff, and hopefully we get some players in, then it will only strengthen the squad. But that team is fantastic. They're fantastic going forwards. They looked organised defensively. They just looked really good. Obviously, Arsenal didn't have the best game, but I'm getting sick of commentators every time Liverpool smash a team off the pitch saying that the other team was so poor. Have you ever thought that maybe the other team is so poor because Liverpool make them poor? That, just a bit of common sense there, I don't know. I don't know, guys. But, what a performance. The front three are absolutely fantastic. They just score for fun, they assist for fun, the movement is fluid, they are very dangerous. Liverpool know to use Mane and Salah's pace on the wings, and Firmino, you only have to give that boy the ball at the moment and he makes something of it. Like, if you put the ball in a different country, Firmino would be on a plane, he'd get the ball, he'd dribble it back up onto the plane, bring it over and set up Mane or Salah. That's just how I feel at the moment. Firmino, absolutely fantastic egg. Again, he is on the path to get 20 goals this season and to be honest with you, I think Firmino, Salah and Mane could all get 20 goals this season, and if they do that and the other boys chip in with goals, then look out Premier League. Obviously, it's early in the season, I don't want to get too carried away, but the score was 4-0, 4-0, 4-0, So yeah, sorry Arsenal, I did say I would bring it up again, but, but we just stuffed you 4-0, so get over it really. Defensively today, we was really good. I think Gomez plays really well defensively at right back. He's probably our best defender at the moment at right back. 
And he's also, he's not amazing going forwards, but he's got the pace to get up the pitch. And even if he's just spreading the other team out a bit by his runs, that that is suiting Liverpool and it definitely suits Salah up there on the right wing. So fantastic again from Gomez. Matip, outstanding yet again. Lovren, okay, so you did really well this game, Lovren, but I'm not going to ease up on you until I see that consistently. If I see that consistently, then maybe I'll give you a break. But, like I've said in my other videos, one minute, Lovren, fantastic like today. Next minute, absolute fucking Bambi on ice. So, keep playing like that, mate, and I'll be giving you some praise in my videos. And, who knows, Lovren might watch these videos and be like, oh my God, thank God, on the bench LFC are giving me praise. Probably not, but don't really give a fuck, really. And left back, Alberto Moreno, yet again. Fantastic. Did really well. He did a lot better defensively today as well. I think he was better defensively today than what he was actually going forwards. What do you guys think on that? Do you think Moreno actually proved that he has got a defensive side in him? And so far, he is, he is taking that left spot, isn't he, really, for us? You saw he come back in. And when I thought that he was injured towards the end of the game... I was a bit worried because I thought, oh no, he's just come back in, just doing well. I mean, an injury to Moreno and he goes out and then, yeah, it's, it's all over again, isn't it, really? But, fantastic again. So, we're going to go with a negative one. And, Carrius, what the fuck are you doing? Not. Once, twice. But three times, you dickhead. What was that all about? Ball comes to feet, feet, goalkeeper, kick. Easy as peas. I don't get it guys. Goalkeepers, yeah I know Liverpool like to play out from the back, but Carrius, what the fuck mate, you don't need that amount of time. His touch was really poor today and could have cost Liverpool big time. Obviously Carrius got a clean sheet today and I think it's a bit unfair on Mignolet because he was left out and he hasn't had a clean sheet and then Carrius comes in from one game, gets a clean sheet. But on the other hand, I do think that Carrius is a bit more solid when it comes to using his hands from crosses and things like that, he looks a little bit more competent and maybe that's why Klopp's keeps trying to get him into the starting eleven because he knows that and that is a weakness. Obviously, we did keep a clean sheet. Karius really needs to sort out his frailties when it comes to the ball being at his feet. Towards the end of the game, you could even tell that Liverpool fans were cheering, um, taking a piss, basically, that he was able to clear the ball without fucking it up. So, yeah, Karius, clear the ball first time, mate, and we ain't got a problem. Because other than that, you wasn't really tested, but solid with your hands. So, I don't know, I'd like to see Mignolet come back into the game next time, just on that basis, but who knows, none of us know why he was out really, only Jurgen Klopp does. Apparently it's resting, but don't know. I don't think Mignolet's going like there was a few people saying on the media with him being left out, I don't think that's true. But, obviously, clean sheet, so all round, doesn't really matter too much. But really, Carrius has got to thank the rest of the team for that score. I want to say, obviously, Coutinho's not been in the team recently. What are your guys' views? I personally don't feel like we're missing Coutinho. If you actually look at his stats over the years, yeah, he's, he's one of Liverpool's best players. But stats-wise, he hasn't done anything that will really give him the value of what, he's, what Barcelona have offered Liverpool. So if he is going, then I think Liverpool are more than capable to fill his void. Obviously, Mane going out on that left wing. Mane looks better on the left wing than Coutinho. Coutinho liked to cut in too much on the right, but I think the right backs from the other teams, they really don't know what way Mane's going because he can go with his left or he can go with his right. And he proved today, he cut back in. Well, he didn't even cut back in. He cut back. And then the angle that he managed to get that ball into the far corner, pop, mwah, beautiful. That was absolutely amazing. Yeah, he just impresses me every single bloody game. Salah is impressing me every single game. And like I said, Firmino, another champion performance. Sturridge comes off the bench. Fucking bosh. It's a goal. Sturridge is off the mark this year. If Sturridge can stay fit, guys, then I think he's going to be like a super sub for Liverpool this year. That's how he's been used so far, and I think that will probably stay like that. We know that Firmino is playing fantastic, and Klopp prefers Firmino there. So I think Sturridge is a bit of a super sub. But... If you've got Sturridge as a super sub, sub, then happy days. Like, absolutely, I'm over the moon, guys. Can't speak more highly of the team, really. Klopp's tactics were on point today. The fans, on point today. Over the moon. I want to know what you guys think of it. Obviously, obviously, we're all buzzing, and it's going to be all praise for Liverpool. Do you guys agree with the commentators from the game that it was partly that Arsenal was so poor? 
Ireland thinks so. I think, like I said, Liverpool smashed Arsenal. They couldn't play their normal rhythm. They played three at the back. And what did I say, guys? If Liverpool played with three at the, if Arsenal played with three at the back, Liverpool would destroy them. We did it against Hoffenheim. I think that it's obviously something that Jurgen Klopp has worked on with the team and tactics on how to defeat teams that play with three at the back because Chelsea won the league with it last year and teams are all going to three at the back this year. Arsenal won them teams and, yeah, we destroyed them. The same as we destroyed Hoffenheim. And whatever he's done to work on that, he's got it spot on so far. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, if he needed any persuading to come to Liverpool already, then, uh, yeah. 4-0, for 4-0, nil, for 4-0. Nil, for nil, for nil. Yeah, ju just saying, Chamberlain, just, just remember that like you should come to Liverpool because obviously we just completely destroyed your team and you don't want to play there anyway and you want to move to Liverpool, so... Just come and have a medical son, like, I'll pick you up, I'll pay for an Uber or something, do you know what I mean? Just like, get your ass to Melwood, have that medical, sign for Liverpool Football Club, join the team that smashes your old team, 4-0, and I think if Chamberlain was in the team, probably would have been 6-0. So, yeah, what do you guys think? Do you think that Chamberlain, after watching that game, will be f that will have fully made his mind up? Hopefully he didn't need that already, but it's not going to damage the cause, is it really? So, yeah, I'm going to end the video here, guys. Obviously, if you've liked the video and you was really impressed with Liverpool today, I want you to give me a thumbs up on the video, guys. And don't forget to subscribe. Quickly, I want to thank everybody that subscribed to the channel already. Obviously, I had a 100 subscribers challenge for myself that I set within six months. I've been doing this channel for just over two weeks and yeah, I'm already over halfway of completing that. So, massive thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. It means absolute lot. I put in so much time and effort. If, I, if I'm not making a video, I'm literally scouring all the media sources and finding all my information, like a little squirrel. I mean, I'm feeding it to you guys. So hopefully you appreciate that, guys. And just remember, thumbs up, subscribe, I'm out.